All right, guys, so I got my parachute mount done. Um, this video is very uh, scatterbrained, not scatterbrained, thrown together because it's very difficult for me to think in video at the same time. So hopefully you guys can deal with that and then watch me make this nice little fancy parachute mount and then I will uh, see you guys at the end. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to go ahead and start this video off and uh, tell you guys something, but I forgot what it was. All right, so I can't remember what I was gonna tell you guys, but uh, got my GoPro stick back, which you guys can't tell the difference except from the angle that I'm filming. I guess just the natural arm angle, you know, whatever. When I have the camera, it's down here. I don't like it, especially when I'm editing. So I'm trying to hold the camera up more so you guys are at my high level. Um, that's not what I was going to tell you guys, but in this video, uh, as you can tell by the title, I'm getting ready to make my parachute mount. So I had a friend of mine, guy I know, good guy, a uh, chassis guy. I would definitely plug his business, but he is swamped with work and I don't think that he really wants it. Uh, he's incredibly busy. I can't find the box that all my other sh oh there it is jeez sorry guys it's Tuesday night oh man so he made me uh, all the parts to the parachute mount he makes them uh, and sells them and he's also a guy I'm getting another part from later this week and I might do a little tour of a shop if he's okay with it uh, I don't know it depends how busy he really is and uh, I'm not going to intrude on people's space in the slightest bit. So, uh, he made me all these parts for my parachute mount. Uh, he also gave me the idea. Now oh, I gotta open up my trunk. I just freaking closed it. I gotta open it up. Um, he, uh, let's see. So if you guys remember uh, a little bit earlier uh, in my videos, a couple months ago, weeks ago, I made this bar back here. Uh, which is a one and five eighths piece of cremali, and uh, that is for one, um, you know, a structure for the rear. <laughs> I don't have a bumper support back here anymore, so it kind of, you know, it adds protection to the rear of the car in case ever, you know, something were to happen, uh, whether somebody would hit me or whatever. Um, the car would be destroyed, all this shit would be gone, doesn't matter. Um, but when I do a roll cage, and that's, hey, I remember that's what I was going to ask you guys. All right, so I'm getting ready. I knew this was going to happen. I was going to go off on tangents like I always do um, to do a cage. But this bar also adds uh, a way to tie the cage into this back bar. Makes the whole car stiffer and safer. Um, and number three, it is my parachute mount. Um, so my parachute mount ties right to this bar. I don't know what size bolt that is, <laughs> um, but I got my just piece of one inch cremali. Yes, it's loose right now. I don't have it tightened down. Uh, I figured it'd fit tighter than that, but you know what? It is what it is at this point. And uh, if it shakes at all, what I'm gonna do, uh, we'll see if it shakes. <laughs> so he made me all these parts and let's see. Got me the handle, got me a bunch of good stuff. Uh, got me a parachute handle from, uh, let's see, Jerry Bickle. This is the part at the bottom that'll get welded here. And then this obviously will go somewhere around here. So what I'm gonna do is clean this bar up, uh, get this tacked on, and what I'm going to do is get it so if I can pull this down and I'm going to get that closed all the way but what I'm going to do is try to get this about an inch away give or take uh, from the wing itself try to get the angle right and stuff this isn't you know this is just kind of pushed together so it's not really not really anything uh, you know, it's not straight. I didn't try to make it straight yet. Um, 
So that's how that's going to go, and then it's going to have that collar at the bottom. Then yeah, the chute's just going to mount right to this, and then we'll have that little strap that actually, you know, it uses the force to stop the car right here. Uh, now I don't know, I, I am going to say this when, <laughs> I guess I fucked up somewhere along the line because this bar, uh, this is a one inch, I can't remember what this is down here, but he gave me this other slip, slip piece, um, or mounting piece, and I remember it all fit like perfectly. And then I guess what I did was I tightened it down in my vice real tight and drilled this hole through the whole thing. And I think that might have pinched it a little bit, made it a little funky. So what I was saying was where this is, wherever this is going to go on there, uh, I might make some type of bracket from the back of this. And I saw people, you know, I might either do a couple little just quarter inch rods to the license plate and so what I could do is just put something behind this uh, it would be pretty easy or what I'm gonna do is yeah this is just a flat surface right right here and what I could do is just put those things each way uh, you know the support rods to like a little piece of I don't know a little one by one or one by two piece of uh, flat steel and then bolt it through here just for the extra strength of it I guess in the rigidity of it um, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this welded on get it tacked on at least and uh, you know I'll get all this shit tacked on and then kind of figure out what I need to do with this and then what I'm gonna do is get it all you know once it's all ready done mocked up pull it out, weld the whole thing, which I probably won't get to tonight in this video. You guys are going to see this later on in the week, or the next clips at least, later on in the week. Um, but at least at least get it all tacked up. I got some other important shit coming, so uh, I'm going to get to that now. And then um, I guess I might as well ask you guys now. So I have, let me try to close it well. Yeah, let me try to close this. Um, an opportunity to get a pre-bent cage kit. And uh, it's from a guy I know, buddy I know. Depends on how you look at it. Guy I do race shit with. Uh, it's a 10-point cage from s and I think. I'd have to look it back up. That's probably wrong. But the only thing that is wrong with it uh, is it's mild steel. And it's a 10 point cage, you know, it could start to 850 with like a window net. Um, it's got, you know, the main hoop, door bars, these A pillar bars, a halo bar, a dash. Uh, I think there's two different bars. Now, I, this is where I get confused going to the back. Uh, and then at the top, what I do is I probably make different bars that go to that rear section, uh, unless they kind of fit. And this is all. I don't know if I'm going to do this still or not, unless they kind of fit in this area. That kind of looks funky. Yeah, right, right around there. <laughs> um, so what I kind of am asking you guys, your opinion on a lot of stuff. A lot of guys know a lot more uh, about this than I do, especially when it comes to chassis, uh, chassis stuff or cages or anything like that. Um, everything else on my car I did out of Cremali. Um, but... What I do, I have a couple options here. I have to buy that cage kit from the guy I know, and it's usually like 540 bucks, and I think he wants like 240. So it would literally cost me 240 bucks to have a 850 cert cage. Um, or I could buy, I don't know, like a Team Z kit, or a uh, Wolf Racecraft kit, um, but those are like, you know, they're, they, they're listed for like 11, I think. But by the time I have to get back half bars, and I'd probably do through the floor subframe connectors like on MJ's car, like the square tubing and stuff. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, by the time I get all that stuff, it's like two grand. And what, you know, the end goal, without me rambling on a lot, is to have like a 25.5 chassis with like a, a hoop in it and stuff and do all this, you know, fun, crazy, uh, pointless shit. Um, 
So I have, that's the end goal. But what I'm getting at is I can either buy that uh, mild steel cage kit, have a hefty donation from somebody for <laughs> a Cromali kit, uh, or I can try to make like a Cromali hoop and door bars and just do like something little. I'm thinking I might just do the mild steel one because at this point it's only like 240 bucks. And uh, with it not being... No. No, you want to help though? Hold on. I got to get all this stuff set up. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Without it being like a complete end goal, I don't know what I want to do with it yet. So maybe you guys can chime in. Tell me what I should do. Uh, it does need a cage at this point. I think we're going to go fast enough. Okay. Yeah, well, we went fast enough last year. I know some of you guys were asking about that. Uh, it went fast enough last year, and they told me twice that I had to leave, and if I did it again, to not come back. So, um, I don't know. Maybe you guys can chime in on that. And uh, there's something else I was going to say. The whole point of the story is probably pointless at this point. So, uh, I'm going to get the welder set up, and... My assistant <laughs> is gonna help me uh, hold it and tack it on there. So let me get set up and then I'll uh, show you guys us tacking it on. Go get your ball. Come on. Get it. Get it. Come on, get your ball. Bad stuff. Paisley, 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 get it, Paisley, get it, yeah, 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 and you got it, nice, nice, uh, I'm gonna get this tacked on, and then I'm probably just gonna wait, um, I'm gonna make sure I get these other pieces tacked on. I'm gonna try to make those tonight. And I don't know if you can tell, if you can see it now, if you can visualize it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might just make some type of little triangular looking thing between these bolt holes. I think that'd be kind of cool. But uh, you can see, see I don't know why this thing moves still. I think I crushed it when I put that hole in it. This is kind of a cool angle though. But uh, yeah, I got this little loop tacked on down here. That turned out pretty cool. Nice and straight. Cool, good job Michaela. But yeah, all I'm gonna do is just, you know what, I, it might not be completely tight. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let me, let me do a couple things first. I'm gonna get this tacked on and then uh, I'm gonna make that plate and show you, or that little, that thing and then show you guys what I ended up with. All right, so I got these little two by one by eighth inch little uh, plates. And this one, I'll have to hold it there, but what I'm gonna do 
is put two, uh, probably two quarter inch bolts in there, which is way, way overkill. Um, but that's what I got laying around. I got a lot, actually, you know what? Well, I'll find out. I'm gonna put two bolts in it per side. One on the top, one on the bottom. And then I have this quarter inch uh, thin Kermali rod laying around. Um, and I figured what a better time to use it. Uh, or not a better, whatever. I don't know how that fucking saying goes. Um, so what I'm gonna do is probably go from the center of this bend right here. And I'm just gonna, I don't even know if I'm gonna bend it, but just cut, uh, cut it and weld it. So one, you know, one side goes on each side to the center of each of those. And I think that ought to look pretty good and, and make this thing real sturdy. Um, I still haven't tightened it up. <laughs> still haven't tightened it up. Um, but I think the last time I did tighten it up, it didn't get any better. And I don't want to keep squishing it and making it worse if it, you know, if that's a, a possibility. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull this off. Well, I'm gonna get those things on there probably later this week or so. And then what I'm gonna do is get that all tacked up, pull it out, weld the whole thing up. And then at that point, uh, paint it, and it's ready to uh, ready for a shoot. So I'm gonna get after that, and then I will get back to you guys here in a uh, in a couple days. This is a few days later, and I don't remember what I left off with, but uh, it definitely I remember because I haven't edited nothing yet. I haven't watched anything. It was definitely a shit show. Uh, whatever I was explaining to you guys. So I remember, I do remember telling you guys I tightened this down in there and it was like tight. And I was like, okay, cool, perfect. So I ended up re-breaking the tacks off of it, uh, getting it centered up perfectly uh, where I wanted it. <clears throat> and then the plan was uh, to film, but I got a little sick under the weather. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. Um, hopefully not Corona, no. Um, and, uh, I ended up just welding it, and so I put it back in there. Sorry, I forgot what I was saying. Put it back in there, <clears throat> and I went to tighten it down, and it wouldn't it wouldn't tighten up again. And I don't know uh, why or what the deal is with any of that or any of that bullshit. So um, what I did was I added these little supports on the sides, and it turned out pretty good, but I have to... Uh, Get after it tonight, even though I'm a little under the weather. And uh, actually, you know what? I am. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys any wild I do. Um, turn out pretty good. If that'll focus, I don't even know if that's on the screen or not. Turn out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. If I'd have cleaned it, would have turned out a little bit better. But uh, we're a good enough garage here. Just throw it together and. Uh, Hope it sticks. But I'm gonna get this bolted back up real quick and just show you guys the, the final product and uh, let me know what you guys think of it. All right, I figured I'd get a light, show you guys, cause I work in a dungeon. Um, but yeah, that's it. I like it. I like it a lot with the rods on it. I think it looks kind of cool. I guess let me close the, the hatch. Get all my shit out of the way. I do like it. I think it turned out pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of mounted on the sides. Uh, behind the license plate cover, which I've had since I own the car. Uh, I decided uh, to never get rid of it because it's kind of goofy and it's funny. Um, yeah. yeah, that's good enough. Good enough for you. No, it's not good enough. Got to get the full effect for you guys. Oh, yeah, fuck yeah. All right. This is still, I gotta adjust this latch, but yeah, that's it. So, yeah, got it centered up, sticking out inch or so, two inches, depends on what you call it, an inch or two. Um, and then, yeah, this is it for the back. I do like it, I like it a lot. And uh, thank you to Sutton for cutting all this material, giving me all this shit, and then uh, making fun of me the whole time. So, um, 
yeah, the plan now is just uh, I gotta paint it. I gotta pull it back off and paint it, but I wanted to put it on there to give you guys the full effect. And uh, I'm probably just gonna paint it black. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do satin or gloss yet. I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me. I was thinking about doing maybe even like a hammer, hammer tone silver color, but I don't want it to look like too car show like. Uh, so probably just gonna paint it black and stuff. So maybe if you guys got any good ideas uh, or any ideas at all, just throw them out there. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Sorry I got sick in the middle of it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next.